Hey guys, how are you doing? Just real quick, did some work today. I had, uh, what was it, two or three days off, you know, quote unquote off, did a lot of errands. Yesterday I ground, pre-ground the Peacemaker, which is gonna be pretty badass. <laughs> I do like it, it already feels good in the hand. It, it feels like it's gonna be well balanced. I do a little bit more tapering. Actually, not even, no, it's gonna be pretty much perfect. Just finish the grind. Once, once it's back from the heat treat handle, and it looks like it's it's it looks like it's well designed, like the balance and the weight, everything. I'm so glad that I did those lightning holes. That helped a lot. Did some more work today. What was uh, finished? Two more Kirida Gavidashis. I did just nice sodding grind. Just nice that right hand chisel. Both of them. One is like graphite. One is black. That's gonna go to Gear Bastion. And these are pretty cool. Now I hope I can do the justice on the handle material. So the first one, you see graphite sheet with those inside the waistband leather. First one is the same kind of deal as what I have on my own small flipper. The second one I did. So it's that inlay with, oh not sorry inlay, it's a bolster like thing. But it actually looks like an inlay again, thanks to my shaping, contouring and on this one especially. It looks like there's a small little tiny cool piece inlaid in there, which is pretty nice. It's I think it's called M3, that material from uh, Macecraft. Same thing on the other side. And uh, it's again, it's my, my shape, traditional shape, except I did a little kind of cool groove here, two on both sides, which this thing actually feels nicely. And it also does the same thing, uh, that uh, bulb in the center. So this one is that's my my contouring, then slight little rock pattern, nicely polished. Same thing on the spine; it has a rock pattern all around it, very subtle, but kind of like buffed. And it has a flat grind, satin grind, and uh, then it has small little convex edge on this one. Nice and good cut, nice and clean satin. And the second one is also very cool handle which is actually it's supposed to be black and brown but the brown you don't really see in that in that carbon fiber but the cool part about it is regardless of the brown is that i think you can pick it up sometimes yep there you see them couple of them it has a gold microscopic dust in it gold uh, gold copper copper and you can see them sparkle once in a while, which is really, I think it's just really cool. In a person, obviously, you can see it much better in a person than on the camera. Camera doesn't do it just, it's very, very, very tight weave. Carbon fiber, you see the layers, very tight weave. And I mean, this is 670, which is pretty, pretty tight, tight weave. But if you compare them, that pay attention to that weave you see the kind of how how tight the weave is and that you s clearly see the difference this is much much tighter even than that and uh, that one was sudden grind flats this one i left at scale these board actually are n690 and uh, the n690 has a really cool scale i think on the, the you know the roll scale and this is the same thing flat grind this one has much higher bevel, but still nice, and it's actually very shallow angle. It's about maybe 12 degrees per side, so nice and shallow convex edge on it. And same kind of deal. This one has the red liners, red gideon, but the same deal. My contouring with slight little rock pattern and buffed. It just looks really cool on the polished carbon fiber, I think. Now we have my shape uh, contouring, but you have that little kind of cool little thing of a. Uh, like natural rock pattern in it. It's very subtle. It's you if if you just see a picture, you probably wouldn't even know just like that. But it has, and I went with the copper pin just to go with the copper little speckles. So that's it. And if uh, I'm gonna put them up, if the buyers are uh, interested, I have two of these leather Pocono leather sheets, black, which would actually go nicely with this. So if whoever's interested, if you want it. Let me know, you know, shoot me an email when you buy them.
for my email we can add it it's i think 25 dollars for the for this so you don't have to buy it separately from from them and i just want to give you a little spoiler of some new toys i got <laughs> yeah i really like it we went to the shooting range what was it wednesday i think we had a lot of fun ruger 1022 uh smith and wesson 1522 really love this now this doesn't look much of a ruger 1022 you guys can see it's a black hawk stock i think it's called axiom and uh that's a magnum research carbon fiber barrel i did i did all that myself i did the little extender mag release uh, which i want to change i do want to change the trigger sometimes uh, i am getting better scope because this is fun i mean this is just cheap of scope but still we were shooting you know bugs like that on 100 yards even my girl my better half she loved it which makes me really happy because knowing that she likes the guns now and we can go to the range together we're gonna have a lot of fun because guns are fun especially 22s if you know where to get the ammunition which i know <laughs> i have a couple thousands a couple thousand rounds already um got some magazines three magazines for the ruger three magazines for smith and wesson and bought this for my better half check that out yeah it's a cool gun though really cool gun p22 she's also got a magazines got her the laser so she likes that so guys hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching hopefully we can make a shooting video sometime soon i have to find out all the rules on the range we don't want to push it the first time we were there but i think it shouldn't be an issue we'll see so guys thanks for watching take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself and link to the online store is in the description as always <laughs> take care